Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Social Divas. So, oh my! So I was looking to do another case, and I was looking through all the cases that um on like Google. When I came across this case, that is, uh, this guy has been missing. For nineteen nineteen ninety over years, and today, if um, if he was still alive, he will be a uh, hundred and ninety six years old. But I don't think he's like alive, at least for me. Um, so there's not a lot of information about him. I right, drew from the background from his birth to his marriage. So, Marvin Alvin Clark was born in eighteen fifty two in Marion County, Iowa. Both his parents were from New York, so when Clark married his wife, Mary. They moved to Oregon as early as nineteen ten, and he resided in Community Holbrook. And Clark was, at one time, the town marshal of Linton, a district that would later become the part of Portland it is today. And between a. Um, he married when they moved to Oregon. They, in some part, they moved back to Iowa. And on Halloween, October thirtieth, nineteen twenty-six, Marvin left his home in Tidart around one p.m. and he is going to visit his daughter. Sydney McDonald, and she was uh, residing in Oregon. So this is when, like, it's not really confirmed because uh, nobody knows. Is that it is said to have that his daughter. Sydney may not have no like didn't know that his her father is coming to visit her because uh she said but another part where there is a、like, comments where maybe she did know so. Right now, it is like it varies, but the only thing was that his wife didn't go with him to Oregon to see to see their daughter. That's the one that is confirmed. So. Then the initial report of the disappearance came out only on November six, so between October thirtieth and November six, something happened. Maybe he has like amnesia and he forgot who he is. That happened a lot at the, at those times, and it's very easy for those for people at those time to tell. Loved one saying, "I am going to visit my son or daughter in this town, and then up and leave, and、um, never, and then change their name, get married to someone new, and then like die with that name." And he had embarked to Portland by a stagecoach, 
through a report published the following week, said he traveled by bus. And that is when there is a lot of conflict about it because did Marin really leave the house? Because his wife said that she, Marvin left to go and see the daughter. But could there be? Here are some theories. Could he have been kidnapped on the way from work and home? And I'm sure in nine in uh nineteen twenty six there is already some kind of phone, so why does it take so long? So if my husband, if at that time, told me I am going to see my daughter in Portland. I would have called the next day, my daughter, and say, "Oh, is that did that arrive?" And if she said that, "Oh, I didn't know that was coming," I would have called the cops immediately. But maybe at those times they are not worrying so much. In nineteen eighty six, nearly sixty years after Clark's disappearance. Lauders found a nearly complete human skeleton in the woods between Tidad and Portland. Although no identification card has been found on the body, an eighteen eighty eight Liberty Head nickel, a nineteen nineteen penny, a pocket watch, leather shoes, and a fraternal fraternal order. Of Edo's pocket knife, and four tokens with the inscriptions D and P were found near the body, and a thirty-eight revolver and a spent shell were also found near the body. So a a pair of wire rim glasses were also discovered. So open. Autopsy of the Jane Doe. The state medical examiner, Doctor Karen Johnson, observed a bullet, like bullet hole near the man's jaw, and effectively ruled the death as a suicide. And the only difference is that the John Doe is between the age of thirty. To fifty-five, so it cannot be、um, Marvin Clark, but at that time they didn't know. And several days after the discovery, Clark's granddaughter Dorothy Willoughby came forward, suspecting the John Doe may be her missing grandfather. But a positive identification cannot be made at that time, and、uh, Dorothy died in nineteen ninety one, and they I think it's yeah twenty eighteen came, and they ran the remains of the John Doe. And it came out that the John Doe was not Marvin Clark. So till today, nobody know what happened to Marvin Clark and where he is, what happened to his body, and when and where he died.